Hello, welcome to the second video tutorial on uh, use of Roundcube WebMail interface. Today we will explore the settings part of the Roundcube interface. Now if we will click on preferences, then we have few options. Now uh, the options you, you may, means I will explain it are not, not all the options. Here is the language, this is useful in case of spell check and other things, but uh, display language also. Uh, you can also explore the Hindi which will change the not the mail content but only the this menu icons and others you can explore this one in the if you are interested in now uh, what I am interested in that I would I would like to show you the other interfaces Larry interfaces which we used to uh, have earlier now in this interface the things remain same but it is a three column layout fourth column has the fourth column left column has moved to the top now the action on the left side folder are here Similarly, the actions are on this. You can either it is on the top and the right side is uh, in the same column. Uh, now, <coughs> and this this will not explore more, but uh, I will go to uh, to the other options in the elastic. The options remain same, only the uh, interface changes. Now, here are the different user user interfaces. Now, last option is that you can enable this so that your the pop ups in the window. If you are heavily using this interface in your uh, computer then you, you should enable this and explore now coming to the second uh, mailbox view I would like you to check this uh, return receipt thing uh, so when the return receipt is enabled when but uh, I will show you in the compose when you compose a mail you can enable the return receipt also you can enable the delivery return means when you compose you will send a mail you will immediately get an answer that whether your mail what happened to your email I can show you the say standard response here I have sent so this is a uh, successful deliver this is this is what you will get once you send a mail immediately now after uh, so second one is the return receipt this will come only if the sender after reading it approves that he he want to send send the response this is these are the two responses you can check now coming back to the settings you can you, you can also explore the about new apps uh, new mail options uh, whether you want to get in the desktop how much time you want to sing this options you can explore now third one is that uh, I would like to highlight this uh, display HTML option you should explore the uh, you should enable this uh, by default I think we have enabled this but you should check this one oh, if you are not getting the HTML view now fourth option is the composing at the time of composing what other things you can you want to check uh, you can enable the spell checking options by default the browser has its own uh, spell checking option but you, uh, we have uh, also enable this you can check we'll we'll, co we'll come to the spell checking options in the compose window but you can enable the default uh, things here now coming to the special folders so these are the default folders you can also enable the archives so where uh, so we, ha we have already selected the default folders but you can change this one so this is the standard here you can move it to junk this is for our server side this is the junk in the uh, thing here then archive divide how you want to archive your things uh, presently I, I would like to keep it done it is up to you how you will decide now going to the server settings in the server setting uh, the things are mostly de uh, default but you can check like whether you want to bypass trash this kind of options are there now the calendar options you can also explore uh, th second one is well to see the folder this we have shown this we have seen in the first video itself then comes to the identity here you can set your signature and other options here uh, most important is the signature part then responses this is one important good feature uh, you can create different responses for example senior administrator always type approved so they don't have to type it you can just click on it it will work I'll show how it works uh, similarly I'm happy to know that something you can write clear a number of templates and those will work here and how it works uh, I'll show you you can when you want to compose a mail I want to respond something then I will just click on the responses I have saved three responses there as you have seen I can just type approved or I can say happy to know something uh, so this, you have to go to the next line go to the next line then you say uh, long line of mails if you are just if you're repeating the mails repeating kind of emails your responses your responses are mostly repeating then you can use this feature then third one is the last login you can see what what last time I have last login from then you can see the uh, filters this is useful in case of spams if you are if you want to block a person from sending you mails 
what you can do is you can uh, take his email address for example xyz at spam.com you can uh, type the type like this and then you can uh, move it so it will check in the inbox folder this should be there then move it to the trash maybe or maybe junk whatever you like then uh, do it for all message and save it so uh, as you know our our spam uh, filter marks this such spam so you should uh, move this take this filter always this is in the subject line so take this select the subject from here and if it contains this move it to junk you can do this we have not done this because people would like to see those mails. people said they would like to see the mails. so this is this is all about the settings uh, next video tutorial we will see the other options thanks for watching this video